Hello, gracefully chosen community, and welcome to Foster My Stories, the achievement focused podcast for foster care, adoption, orphan, inclusive of underserved communities. I'm your host, Shalina Michelle Tate. On today's cast episode, I would like to dive into the community highlight of the month, the South Carolina Foster Parent Association, which I will refer to as the SCFPA. And this right here is the South Carolina edition of Foster My Stories. Stories. So let's dive right in. The SCFPA helps foster parents on their journey, opportunities, not just for the parents, but for the youth. This is going to be a detail oriented segment. So please grab your pen and paper. I'm going to give you their number 803 865 2020, available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Next couple of insights may be useful to you to reach out to them directly. As far as parental consistence, they have this dynamic program, Heartfelt Calling. Dot org. Their mission is to recruit foster and adoptive families who can provide a safe and loving home for children when they cannot remain in their current home. They are dedicated to recruiting and training families that the best needs of the child are during the time of separation. You can visit the heartfeltcalling.org website or call 888 888- Eight two eight three five five five, and because the SCFPA is committed to making sure that you are successful on your journey, training foster parents, adoptive, like I said in the last episode, kinship care providers, family members related to the children needing care, DSS guardian at litem CASA, they're the court appointed advocates represent the children in court, child placing agencies. There is no charge. Go to the website SCFPA. Dot com to check out the calendar. Let's break it down. Starting with the upstate South Carolina, your regional officer is Chris K R I S Laney L E H N E and can be reached at area code one. 864-483-0193. Next up, the Midlands, like how I am from. Regional officers is Mike and Maria Dayton. They can be reached at area code 1-803-606-8998. Next up, we have the PD counties in South Carolina. Your regional director is Adele E D E L L Gamble G A M B L E at area code one eight four three three two six five four five eight. Also got you covered, Low Country, South Carolina, Antonio and Deborah McCall M C C A L L one eight four three 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 zero zero five five six once again your regional representative SCFPA has a teen recognition program for high school students grades nine through twelve with a two point oh or better GPA after school activities community service church or other activities they may be nominated by school personnel pastor an employer or a foster parent or social worker for this award you can visit the scfpa.com backslash teen hyphen recognition check it out go get that form fill it out and submit it next up the high school seniors scholarship opportunity foster care at the time of the application graduating a high school senior the application must be sent to the scholarship committee or before the announced deadline scfpa.com backslash scholarships have completed their scfpa application which is on the website three letters of recommendation testify to character leadership and basis of need teacher or school official somebody who has known the applicant for at least six months from an applicant's foster parent additional information that might be pertinent to the committee may be added to the applicant's discretion visit the scfpa.com backslash scholarships download the application and submit this for a high school senior that you know that's also in foster care you have a high school senior who's getting a team recognition award on top of a scholarship that's phenomenal and of course that would make my day right speaking of 9 through 12 and the high school senior scholarship program i would encourage those youth you have 
especially if you know that they're going to be a long-term placement with you, ninth grade, in the sixth grade, whatever their situation, encourage them right where they are to still excel. Encouragement, encouragement, encouragement is key for these youth. What they need is someone that can meet them right where they are, or at least you can help get them the resources they need so they can be met right where they are. Next up, the category together, I call it the independent living readiness group. They turn 18, leaving the foster care system, choose to stay till 21 for educational purposes, but they just need that extra support. So independent living, we have a pack a sack program where you can help foster youth with needed items while they are away at college, SCFPA Association will provide sacks for you to fill up and send to a college student all around the state. It may include notes of encouragement, information about your organization, so you can help pack a sack with school supplies, study snack pack, bathroom sack, which is always needed, entertainment sack, which can help them during their downtime to kind of like recoup from study, pack a sack program, SCFPA. Next up, there is a a laptop bundle that the SCFPA offers. It is a partnership between the SCFPA and the South Carolina DSS. It provides an opportunity to foster youth to access a laptop computer bundle. And of course, this has no age limit on it. Addition for a youth who has gone away to college to receive a laptop bundle. CFPA backslash laptop hyphen bundle to download the form. Let's fill out the form, complete the form. You can give it to your independent living coordinator or by faxing it to 803-898-7641. The cost is $1,800, which includes computer software, a three-year service agreement, which is dynamic, printer, and other computer accessories. Last but not least, I think any youth would just be ready to get, no matter if they're 16, 17, emancipation ready. It is the On the Road Again program that is a project of the SCFPA, which provides donated cars to foster care youth so they can pursue their goals of continuing education and employment, allowing for a more successful transition into adulthood. So a resident in foster care to be at least 18 years old, but prior to their 21st birthday, must have a valid South Carolina driver's license, have to be employee necessary to pay for the insurance, gas, and maintenance, must have at least two letters of recommendation confirmed Confirming pursuit so far as of January 16th, the SCFPA have given away 251 cars. And if you want more information, contact Brian Marion, that's B-R-I-A-N, Marion, M-A-R-I-O-N, that's 803-665-9225. And that is for the car program. If you are wanting information, laptop bundle, pack a sack, recognition, and high school scholarship programs you can contact mr andrew franklin that's a n d r e w franklin f r a n k l i n at area code 803-315-7672 program director and independent living coordinator at 803-315-7672 and that was for laptop bundle the pack a sack the high school senior scholarship program and the teen recognition program also for your other age groups the smart fun strong kids program of the scfpa which is designed to provide foster children and youth with the same opportunity as their peers to be able to engage in a variety of educational and or confidence building activities year-round connections day programs and summer camps so i would look into the smart fun strong kids program provided through the SCFPA. Mr. Andrew Franklin put a big star by his name because he is the contact person for this next group of categories. He is Andrew Franklin. Once again, 803-315-7672. Kids Make Music program. That's the Kids Make Music, which is the mission of the SCFPA to see that children in foster care get portable musical instruments that have music-related learning experiences that will stay with them wherever they go. I was introduced to music. Um, It wasn't through this program, but I had a taste of music while I was in foster care. Um, Of course, music was a requirement 
in some schools, but then I also got involved in orchestra briefly and just being able to hold a viola and position it and knowing about the strings and the reason and um, how to clean it, how to prepare it. It was a great snippet of learning. To get started, you can see if you can get connected with a Kinder Music, that's K-I-N-D-E-R-M-U-S-I-K studio that's close to your area or attribute in other ways by donating an instrument. You can pay for a music lessons for a child. The cost may be anywhere from 40 to 100 a month, depending on the program the child is enrolled. Youth to be engaged if it works well for them. You can donate concert and movie tickets. Take a child or group, with permission of course, to a children's musical event. Or you can get a youth that you know involved. Of course, if they get involved, they are encouraged to participate at least three months in this program. Of Next up, which I feel may be closer to the Emancipation Readiness Group, but this is also Striving for Excellence. It's a program of the SCFPA, which is designed to recognize students within resource families who have identified and are pursuing goals that will ensure a successful transition into adulthood. And once again, I mentioned briefly about the emancipation. A lot of times youth emancipate at age 18 from the foster care system. Some stay to 24 for educational purposes. If you have a foster youth who's college bound, encourage them if possible. It's their choice. Encourage them to consider staying until the age 24 because their local agency can assist with funds towards college education and of course you would need to talk to your local agency and or your guardian at Lightum or your social worker and definitely stay connected with your school. Let's recap. I said a mouthful. The SCFPA, like I said, is a phenomenal program locally here to South Carolina. Once again, this is the South Carolina edition of Foster Mind Stories. And their contact number is area code 803-865-2020. They are open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 Eastern Standard Time. They have the heartfeltcalling.org program to help kind of get you started on your journey of fostering, adopting, or any questions you may have. They have free training sessions, which you can look into via the website on their calendar. And of course, they update that calendar regularly. The heartfeltcalling.org or 888-828-3555. And then you have different regional officers according to your area right the youth they need encouragement they need support they need people who are caring and can meet them right where they are and this is how you can do it laptop bundle pack a sack kids make music program that's offered through the kinder music studios involved I'm pretty sure the process so i've spoken to youth um so it's important to kind of gauge what your child wants to do and then really find areas where they can thrive in that pursuing goals that will ensure a successful transition into adult you can contact Mr. Andrew Franklin, 803-315-7672. On the road again, program Brian Marion, that's 803-665-9225 at scfpa.com. I'd love to hear your feedback as a listener. And also, if your upbringing, community service, or job connects you to the foster adoption, orphan, or underserved communities, I would love to have you on the podcast. You can send a guest request over to info at fostermystory.com. That is Frank Mary story with an I, not a Y, dot com. So F-M-S-S-T-O-R-I dot com. Make sure to tune in Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time via any of the platforms convenient to you. Circle Podcast, expand it to Spotify, Amazon Audible, Amazon Music, Radio Public, or you can check out Google Podcasts where you can find this content as well. There you can catch missed episodes or stay connected for upcoming guests and content. Please remember to tell someone you know, right? Being fostered, adopted, orphaned, or underserved simply means they're gracefully chosen. And feel free to share this content, reach out about this content to foster this story. Take care.